weeks ago, a key witness in the trial of a mafia boss was found dead. He had said the best revenge is getting on the stand and looking him in the eye. It's going to be a great day. A couple of weeks later, Steve Rakes was dead. The police told the family it was suicide. But there were facts in the case that weren't consistent with suicide. His family said he wasn't suicidal or depressed. His body was found without phone or wallet, and his car was missing. A man with a story to tell about a secretive criminal organization with a history of murder. A man determined to tell that story, regardless of what happened to him. The man dies, and the physical evidence isn't consistent with the conclusion the police immediately jumped to. I'm not talking about the mafia witness now. I'm talking about Michael Hastings, the man who had information about the world's largest and most successful criminal organization, the CIA. The difference in the two stories is that Steve Rake's family and friends pushed back against the official story. They demanded and got an investigation. And after two weeks of investigation, they learned that he was murdered. Although the official story is that the murderer had his own agenda and wasn't working for the mafia boss. That hasn't happened with the Michael Hastings story. His wife, after initially saying she was going to take down whoever had killed Hastings, has now presented the perfect picture of a gleeful Stepford wife. He always had at least five hot stories right. going. That was, that was Michael's. You know, my gut here is that it was just a really tragic accident. What a strange comment and what a strange reversal. But then again, she did work as director of communications for the National Security Council. Hastings' apparent murder under suspicious circumstances while he was covering a story that was going to embarrass the government affects all of us, not just Hastings' wife. This goes to the heart of corruption and crime at the highest level of our government that's manifesting itself in multiple scandals that have roots with both parties over multiple administrations. Hastings' murder is an attempt to intimidate those who would report on the crimes of our government. And while the government may be spinning the story now and stonewalling on information, the truth will eventually come out. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm David Knight. State of Mind, a documentary that's carried by InfoWarsStore.com, is a great way to understand the broad base of the attack and the various techniques that they